Animate Project 4, Ocean Animation. We're on Stage 2, Animating Symbols. We have our stage set. We've got everything in place that we need. We're going to start by making a basic frame animation inside a movie clip symbol. We've got our file open and you're going to use your selection tool. Make sure you've got nothing open up on the stage. In our properties we want to adjust our frames per second. The default that came up was 24. We want to knock that down to 15. We're going to work with the cave symbol first. So double click that to go into the edit in place. Double click the fish so we can enter into that nested symbol. In the timeline we want to go to frame 7. We're going to insert a new keyframe, so that's F6, and we're going to select the air bubbles and you're going to drag those up. We're going to spend the next minute or so recreating these moves. We're going to do this like seven times to create keyframes every seven frames to move the air bubbles up until they're outside the top edge of the stage. So you can follow along with me. I'm just going to go ahead and work through this really quick. After you get to frame 49 and you drag the bubbles off to the top, we want to set another keyframe at frame 56 and just put in a regular keyframe there that's an F5. We just want to hold that without having the bubbles go back and loop. Remember everything's going to keep looping. We don't want that to loop back to the fish's mouth immediately. Okay, we want to have that stop there. So now if you look at your timeline, the bubbles appear to go up. Go back to scene one and save your file. Next we're going to bring in the turtle and we're going to create a motion tween with it. We want to create a new layer right above the logos layer and we're going to name that layer turtle. In your library panel, in your bitmaps, you're going to drag an instance of the turtle onto the stage. Now this instance is fairly large. We want to scale this down to 50%. So in your transform panel, uniformly scale it to 50%. Makes him kind of small and we're going to position him just off the right side of the stage above the cave. Press F8 and we're going to turn him into a symbol. We'll call him Swimmer. He is a movie clip and we want his registration point to be the center for right now. Open the folder library route and we're going to designate that he is going to go into movie clips and say OK. That way we don't have to put him in there. He goes in on his own. We want to select frame 90 of the turtle layer and we're going to add a new keyframe to that. Right click any frame on the turtle layer and we're going to create a motion tween. We haven't done anything yet but we can actually do the motion tween before we create the motion that we're going to make. We're going to now click on frame 90, select the turtle image and drag him off on the left side of the stage. We automatically get the new keyframe on frame 90. That's marking the new position of the swimmer. And we also get a motion path across from frame 1 to the position on frame 90 and each dot corresponds to the frame within that tween.
we're going to go back to frame one and if you press enter to play this through you only see the, the turtle because he only exists he's the only thing that's existing out to all the frames and that's fine so that we can see the turtle move across the stage and remember eventually we're going to take and put that all into frame one as a movie clip with the turtle on frame 90 select him and we're going to now transform him to 200 percent which is actually what he was at the beginning because we shrunk him down to 50 percent which became the new hundred percent for the timeline you're going to have to drag him a little bit further to get him off of that screen back to frame one again play this and you'll see him enlarge as he goes across the screen we want to edit the shape of the motion path because him swimming across in a straight line is probably a, a little bit boring so pick up your selection tool and when you go into the center of the motion path somewhere in the middle of the stage as you approach that you're going to get uh, that curved line under your cursor to indicate that you can bend that path so if you click on that line and bend that up to get a nice arc going if you want to play it again you can if you go back to frame one and hit play enter it and you'll see him go up the arc he's getting larger as he swims across we want to go in the center of this which is frame 45 there he is in the middle and if we select him and pull him down we're going to bend our path so now we have the curve going up and the curve going down and the curve going back up again we can now adjust this further so if you pick up your sub selection tool or direct select tool we can go in and we can make edits we should be able to click on that center point and we're going to first move him so select that center point and drag that to the left what that's going to do is give him more speed at the beginning of the animation you can see there's more space between those dots at the at this part of the animation and these are kind of squinched together we can also go in and we can adjust our curve so if you'd like to have him arc up a little bit more you can do that we can control how he's swimming next right click anywhere within the motion tween on the timeline and choose motion path switch keyframes to roving the dots along the path now redistribute themselves to an equal spacing across the entire length of the tween so the keyframe from frame 45 is now taken away and the shape of the path isn't affected this is going to allow us to create a custom shape motion path with consistent speed throughout the tween. We want to control right click anywhere in the turtle layer on that tween and we're going to copy frames. Select frame 95, right click and choose paste frames. We just pasted an exact copy of the selected frame including the position of the symbol at various keyframes at that point again our turtle has now jumped back to the right side of the stage and it will continue out until frame 100 I think they said 185 we want now to right click between those frames 95 and 184 somewhere in there and now we're going to reverse the keyframes we want to go back to frame 95 select the turtle go up to modify transform and flip horizontal you get the idea we're gonna send that little swimmer back but we now have to go back to the other side at the end of the timeline because you see him flipping as he's going across so we need to go to that last keyframe and guess what we gotta select him again go up to modify go to transform and we're going to flip him horizontal again 
so he's swimming the correct direction. Add regular frames to all the other layers to extend this out so we have something we can look at. We're going to F5 on those and now when you play the animation from the beginning our swimmer comes out, he floats across getting larger as he comes through, a slight pause as he turns around and floats back again. Make sure you save your file. In the library panel, click to open the seaweed movie clip and in the timeline select frame 40 and press F5 to insert a new regular frame. Right click anywhere on the timeline and insert a motion tween. We're going to get a warning that says that we need to convert the selection to a symbol for a tween. Right now this is not a symbol, so we're going to do that. This is going to generate a new movie clip named Symbol 1, and we're going to rename that Seaweed Sway. and move the symbol up into your movie clips folder. Select the free transform tool, drag the transformation point down to the bottom center, and in the transform panel activate the skew button and select frame 10 and change the skew value to 5 degrees. You can scrub it or type it in and maybe I'm going to type it in. Move the playhead to frame 30 and in the transform panel change the skew to a minus 5. Move the playhead to 40 and change the skew to 0. Click scene 1 in the edit bar press control enter to test the movie in the player window. You can close the player window and save your file. We're going to continue by creating another motion tween that's going to animate our logo. Select the logo on the screen and press F8 to convert it to a symbol. Name that symbol BOP. It is going to be a movie clip. Registration is center and the Click on the library route, select movie clips, and say OK. Next, double click the instance of the logo on the screen to edit that symbol in place. Select frame 60 and press F5 to add a new regular frame. Control or right click between frame 1 and frame 60 and choose create a motion tween. We're going to get that pop-up message that tells us we need to create the symbol. So say yes to that. In your library panel, you have a new symbol one. Double click that. Change the name of that to BOP Animated. And put that into your movie clip folder. Move your playhead to frame one and select your logo again to access the properties. We're going to add a filter, expand that if you need to, and then select blur. Our blur value is going to be 30. Make sure that the X and Y are chained. If they're not, you're going to need to enter those separately. We're also going to add a color effect, expand that if you need to, and in style select alpha and drag the alpha slider down to zero. Next, we're going to move the playhead to frame 30. Again, click the symbol registration point to make sure that it's selected. Change your blur value to 0 and your alpha value to 100%. Return your playhead to frame 1. Make sure your animation plays. And then exit to scene 1 and save your file.